Welcome to Battery Technology Channel. In this video I will tell about how many rechargeable battery technologies are available. What are the post-lithium-ion battery technologies, their energy density and technical problems. So let's start. Vanadium Redox Flow Battery the analyte and cathelite in this battery are vanadium. The energy density of battery is only 20 watt hour per kilogram. It can run more than 13,000 cycles. There are some problems. The battery is very heavy because of electrolyte tanks and pumps. The battery needs a lot of space, it has poor energy to volume ratio. Gas evolution lowers the cell efficiency. This battery is only suitable for the stationary applications. Redox flow battery needs several improvements in the system for the mobile applications. Zebra battery. Molten sodium is used as an anode and nickel is used as cathode in zebra battery. The energy density of zebra battery is 120 watt hour per kilogram. It can run more than 4000 cycles. Zebra battery also have some problems, like high internal resistance. Battery uses its own capacity to maintain temperature when not in use. Battery is required high operating temperature. Lithium ion battery. It is well known technology and widely used in both mobile and stationary applications. The technology is already commercialized in 1991 by using lithium cobalt oxide cathode and graphite as an anode. Graphite and lithium titanium oxide are used as an anode in commercial batteries. NCM, NCA, and LFP are used as cathode materials. The battery delivers energy density 260 watt hour per kilogram. It can run more than 5000 cycles. There are few problems with the lithium ion batteries. Like, they contain highly flammable electrolyte. Deep discharge and overcharge can trigger the fire in the battery. Lithium ion battery technology is a mature technology. Growing demand for higher energy density required post lithium technologies. Now we will discuss about the post lithium ion battery technology in the coming section. Sodium ion battery. Hard carbon is used as an anode. There are several cathode materials are developed for sodium ion battery for example oxides, phosphates etc. Sodium ion battery deliver the energy density less than 100 watt hour per kilogram. It runs up to 2000 cycles. There are some problems with sodium ion battery, like Deliver low energy density unwanted side reactions with the electrolyte sodium ion battery is still a relatively unexplored battery technology solid state batteries they contain the solid electrolyte not the liquid and gel electrolyte solid state batteries are quite safe and deliver high energy in comparison to lithium ion batteries lithium metal is used as an anode and NCM, NCA, LCO, LMO are used cathode in the solid state batteries. Solid state batteries deliver the energy density of 300 watt hour per kilogram. About cycles it is not clear. There are some critical issues with the solid state batteries, like high interfacial resistance at the electrode and electrolyte interfaces. Low ionic conductivity in solid electrolyte at room temperature and low temperature. During the assembly it requires high pressure to maintain contact at interfaces of electrodes and solid electrolyte. Lithium sulfur battery. Lithium metal is used as an anode in lithium sulfur batteries. Sulfur is used as cathode material. The lithium sulfur batteries deliver energy density 450 watt hour per kilogram at the cell level. It can run up to 500 cycles. Lithium sulfur batteries are also having several problems, like 80% volume expansion during the charging and discharging, unwanted reactions with the electrolyte, 
poor conductivity and poor stability at high temperature. Formation of lithium sulfide consume the sulfur and decrease the cycle life. Lithium air battery. Lithium metal is used as an anode and porous carbon is used as cathode. It is used as air electrode. The energy density of lithium air battery is between 1300 and 1400 watt hour per kilogram. It runs only up to 50 cycles. There are still several problems in lithium air battery development. Like Very short lifetime System requires highly pure and filtered air. Capacity degrades rapidly when recharged. Clogging of lithium peroxide block the electrode. Dendrite formation consume the lithium irreversibly. Aluminum ion battery. Aluminum is used as an anode end. Graphite or graphene is used as cathode in the aluminum ion battery. In the lab test, pouch cell with foam type electrodes deliver 40 watt hour per kilogram of energy density. The cell can run up to 7,500 cycles. There are some problems with aluminum ion battery. Like, it delivers relatively low energy density. It can only use for stationary applications. Require more development to enter into mobile applications. Aluminum ion battery contains corrosive and sensitive electrolyte. Aluminum sulfur battery. Aluminum is used as an anode and sulfur is used as cathode in aluminum sulfur batteries. In the lab test, lithium sulfur battery delivers 850 watt hour per kilogram of energy density. But the cycle ends in just 20 cycles. There are some problems in the lithium sulfur battery development. Like Very short lifetime Hug volume expansion during charging and discharging Capacity degrades rapidly Formation of unwanted species during cycling process. Aluminum air battery. Aluminum is used as an anode and carbon with knee grid is used as cathode in aluminum air batteries. In the lab test, lithium sulfur battery delivers 1300 watt hour per kilogram of energy density. But the cycle ends in the initial stage. There are several problems with aluminum air battery. Like Very short lifetime Relatively low energy density Unwanted reactions of aluminum with electrolyte Corrosion and gas evolution is a big issue, in this regard, aluminum air battery require non-aqueous system. Zinc ion battery Zinc is used as an anode and oxides for example manganese oxide is used as cathode in zinc ion battery. In the lab test, zinc ion battery delivers maximum 85 watt hour per kilogram of energy density. But the cycle ends in the initial stage. There are some problems with zinc ion batteries, like Corrosion of zinc in electrolyte Capacity degrades rapidly Formation of zinc oxide and dendrite and alkaline aqueous electrolyte. Zinc air battery. Zinc is used as an anode and porous carbon is used as cathode in zinc air battery. In the lab test, zinc air battery delivers maximum 190 watt hour per kilogram of energy density and the cycle ends in 200 cycles. There are some problems with zinc air batteries, like Corrosion of zinc in the electrolyte and this it limits cycle life of battery. Battery short circuits due to the dendrite formation. Shape change and passivation. Clogging pores in the air electrode. Magnesium ion battery. Metallic magnesium is used as an anode. There are several cathode materials have been investigated for the magnesium ion batteries. Like Nazicon, Chevrolet, etc. In the lab test, magnesium ion battery delivers 60 watt hour per kilogram of energy density. In the lab test, the battery runs more than 2000 cycles. There are some problems with the magnesium ion battery. Like 
passivation of magnesium surface. Lack of appropriate electrolyte for the magnesium ion battery. At present it can be used for stationary applications only. Magnesium ion battery requires discovery of high energy cathode materials in order to use in mobile applications. Magnesium air battery. Metallic magnesium is used as an anode and porous air electrode is used as cathode and magnesium air battery. The theoretical energy density is 6.8 kWh per kilogram. About the cycle life it is still not deeply investigated. Magnesium air batteries have several problems, like Traditional ether-based electrolytes are not compatible for magnesium air batteries. Oxygen dissolution and passivation of magnesium. Unwanted reaction between anode and electrolyte. Poor rechargeability. Magnesium sulfur battery. Metallic magnesium is used as an anode and sulfur is used as cathode and magnesium sulfur battery. Theoretical energy density is 1700 watt hour per kilogram. Cycle life is not yet deeply investigated. There are some problems with magnesium sulfur batteries, like it has around 24% volume expansion during cycling. Lack of appropriate electrolyte for the magnesium sulfur battery. Rapid capacity decay in just first cycle. Magnesium sulfur battery technology is in the beginning phase. There can be some and other battery technologies in future. Like lithium tin battery, lithium silicon battery, calcium ion battery. Thank you very much for watching.